Good morning. Thank you for joining our webinar. Today's topic, can a non-parent obtain parental rights and responsibilities over a minor child? To give some context, let's say a third party, a neighbor for argument's sake, wants to care for a minor child. They're not family, they're not related, but he wants to or she wants to care for this minor child in the sense of if the minor child needs to enroll into a school, apply for a passport, that specific parent should have the authority to sign and give consent, a third party. Or care for the minor child, for the minor child to live with him or her, legally. We're not talking about adoption, adoption is something else. Now, taking it one step back, the people, or the persons who would usually have these parental rights and responsibilities would be the parents the mother and the father, the minor child. We want to give a third party those specific rights, which the mother has and the father has, but not for that person to adopt the minor child. And at the same time, taking it one step further, can the court take away the biological parents' rights to the minor child? So in, a, in an extreme example, we're taking away all the parental rights and responsibilities of the mother and the father, so they have no rights to see the child, have contact with the child, the consent is not required for whatever the child requires or needs to do, and those specific rights are given to a third party, a non-family member, a non-parent, not necessarily a grandmother or a grandfather or aunt or an uncle, a total third party. And is it possible? Yes, it is possible. That's a long and short of the specific topic. It can be done. Adoption is something else. Adoption is whereby the biological parents no longer have rights, but the third party who obtains, who becomes adoptive parents, they have all parental rights and responsibilities, but there are other legal ramifications. The biological parents no longer have any responsibilities towards a minor child. They do not have to pay maintenance and so on. But in our scenario, the parents will no longer have parental rights over the minor child, so the consent is, is not required, but at the same time they still have this legal obligation to look after the minor child financially at least. I hope you are following me where I'm going to with this. Maybe it will become a bit more evident once we deal with the first scenario. Question 1. Aren't wanting to have parental rights? If you have any questions, you're welcome to post it on the Advocate Muhammad Abdullah Facebook page and I will be... I am looking at it. And if, there are any, if there are no questions, that is also in order. I hope you are engaging and learning from this. My sister passed away and she left behind a daughter and her husband. The husband does not properly care for the minor child and she is being neglected. What can I do if I want her to stay with me? Okay, so in terms of the Children's Act, it is possible for the assignment of parental rights and responsibilities on a third party. If the specific aunt wants to care for the minor child, she may make an application to court for the assignment of those specific parental rights and responsibilities to her, and in this specific case it will be the parental rights and responsibilities of care. The court will obviously have to make a decision as to what is in the minor child's best interest, what rights should be given to you, should it be a blanket right, for example guardianship rights, care and contact rights, and so on. Should the court take away the father's rights because the father is neglecting the minor child, most probably not abusing the minor child, or maybe not caring for the minor child the way the minor child should, taking the minor child late to school, not feeding the minor child properly, not you know, hygienically attending to the minor child correctly, and so on. So the father obviously needs to have contact with the minor child, but here in this specific scenario, the aunt feels that, that it would be in the minor child's best interest for her to care for the minor child, to basically be the minor child's mom. And some people might say taking over or having a minor child replace the sister which she has lost, I do not know, that is an argument that sometimes come about. But ultimately the court would want to determine what is in the minor child's best interest. If it is in the minor child's best interest for the specific aunt to care for the minor child and for the father to have, you know, contact maybe every second weekend. Um, some school holidays, but the aunt will be the one who cares for the minor child, takes her to school, you know, attends to her homework, her extramural activities, dealing with her when she's ill, and so on. 
it is possible in terms of the children's actual assignment to take place. Ultimately, the court will have to make a decision what is in the minor child's best interest. If it is in the minor child's best interest, the court will assign those guardianship rights and parental rights, whatever rights are required. If it is not in the minor child's best interest, the court will not make such an order. Question number two. Parental rights to a family friend. The year is a total non-family member. The question is, or the post is, I have been caring for a child age 8 for the last for the past 3 years. Both her parents are in rehab and are in and out of jail. I managed to enroll her into a school but the school says they need a parent's consent. What can I do? I'm not a family, I'm not family of the child. Okay, going back to what I mentioned earlier on, same scenario, the assignment of rights. In this specific scenario, the parents are in rehab, they're in and out of jail. And here we might require a bit more than just caring for the minor child. There might have to be the assignment of guardianship rights to them of a guardianship rights to the specific third party, this caregiver. In, because tomorrow the minor child may have to run or require to do extramural activities, go on an excursion, require the consent of a guardian. And under these circumstances, if the mother and the father are in and out of rehab, which is generally um, a close place, they're basically in custody sometimes, and if they're in and out of jail, definitely in custody. Under those circumstances, it makes logical sense for this third party to be assigned guardianship rights. So when it comes to those specific is in issues, his or her consent is required. Not necessarily for a passport application or for the minor child to leave the country. We're not dealing with that scenario, so the court will not provide a blanket right of guardianship rights and take the rights of the parents away. Of course, in this specific scenario, the parents should still have contact with the minor child. Yes, obviously, a child needs to have contact with, the, with, with his or her parents. They might have certain stipulations if they want to become a bit extreme, stipulating that the minor child can only have contact with the parents if they are clean from drugs. They um, are not, they, 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 are, they are clean, you know, you know better, or you know where I'm, where I'm going to with that. But the court will obviously make whatever decisions based upon what is in the minor child's best interest. It's, I see a comment over here, question one, adoption, adoption. People sometimes do not necessarily want to follow the adoption procedure. Um, you, you require obviously the consent of the, of the parents, obviously the consent is would be unreasonably withheld, the court can make a overriding ruling, and do you want to adopt the child or do you want to just care for this minor child for that specific period until the, until the parents are back to normal, um, they are now involved in the child's life. So example number, for example, question number one, the specific father, he might at some point develop the skills to care for the minor child and not neglect the minor child. And then finally the minor child can go back to that specific uh, parent. Sometimes it depends upon the age of the, of the, of the specific third party, it can be very really old, um, it can be a temporary situation, but adoption is possible. And the question also is, does the child want to be adopted now or does he or she still want to have uh, this connection with his or her biological parents. But adoption is obviously an option which you can uh, consider and you can deal with it um, accordingly. So if you think adoption is the best, the adoption would obviously be the best. I hope um, that answers some of the questions and thank you very much for your comment on Facebook Live. And that's our short video for today, Friday the 7th of January 2022. Have a lovely weekend. I'll see you next week online.